Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So I'm continuing today and we have the McCormick tractor just over here. I'm going to take it over to the store because what I need to do is go and pick up an auto load trailer. So I don't know what it's going to be like but it should be quite good because what I really need to do is auto load the pallets of wool. As you'll know if you've been watching this series uh, I do have loads of sheep. We have over 200 sheep and it means they are producing a lot of wool at this stage which goes into crates and there's too many crates being produced for me to keep on top of so if I can just keep this trailer nearby I can hopefully just keep auto loading it every now and then ooh I can see smoke it must be must be the steam train nearby there it is so yeah it's over at the store but I've never used it so this is going to be quite interesting I'm literally racing the train and I think the train's winning. Pretty sure it is. Who's faster? Tractor versus train. Um, yeah, there's not much in it actually. There really isn't much in it at all. Possibly me. I might be getting a little bit faster. Goodbye, train. There he goes. See, so yeah, these are the sheep in question just here. They have a massive supply of bales. They probably do need to be moved those bales because they look a bit messy. I'm hoping though, it is just accepting them as it needs them, as the sheep need them. With a bit of luck. Oh, I didn't actually realise you could go inside the dealership. I didn't realise it had windows and stuff. That is really nice. You can see tractors in there. Can you open the door? Oh wow, you can. I know I'm quite easily pleased, but I just think for farming some of that is quite impressive. And I believe that's the tractor which is uh, going around on the roads. The AI tractors. Waiting room salesman. Oh look, they're playing farming simulator. Clearly they're big fans. Okay, so here it is. This is the auto load trailer. There was actually an option of two. Uh, you could have the one with the bale front and back and you could have just the standard and because we're doing uh, pallets we just need to have standard. So yeah, it does have the option for pallets. So that's good. Work mode on. I think we're just ready to go over there really. If I just go into the field hopefully load them up. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be compatible with wool crates. Um, it does cotton modules, pallets, oh, I thought they were pallets. Large square bales, round bales, mission pallets, no, egg boxes. Okay, maybe it's not compatible with this, I'm not too sure. In that case, what I'll do is I will stack it myself. I'm going to have to, but I would have liked to have loaded it. I'll have to find another trailer in the future. They must come under crates instead of pallets, but not to worry. I do have this very nice JCB wheel loader. So if I just swap the log log grab with uh, some pallet forks, that will be the perfect machine to load it with. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm still looking for an auto load trailer. I've been looking around everywhere and I keep finding some, but then it seems that in FS19, most of the auto loading trailers only really support bales. They don't really support crates. So if anybody knows of one which does support wall pallets please do post down below your comment will probably go into spam but I can still see I can still see the spam so I will be able to see it even if it's not public I love the feature of being able to fold the beacons down if you're in a very low area so you don't knock them off that's nice we'll keep them up we don't need to fold them down but yeah love the feature I think I might as well sell the log grab because I didn't really use it much anyway and I would prefer to have the money for the pallet forks. So there we go. I might eventually replace this with a smaller machine anyway, but it's just so nice. It's just such a, a good mod. Okay, so wheel loader, pallet fork. It does seem a little over the top using such a massive machine for just some uh, some crates. And yes, I need to sell that. Of course, I mustn't just leave it there. Um, Might have to go into the... Uh, shop or something, not too sure. Done. I think I need to update my map, I'm not too sure if this is the latest version, but I don't think it is. Right, okay. Now I just want to ask really, uh, there's not a vote or anything, but I'd just like to know your opinion. Uh, I always used to do multiplayer days, like I'd, for example, open the server on a Saturday and then 
I would record a video with my fans, the server would fill up to 16 slots, and then the following day I'd put the video out. Now I haven't done that recently, the server is actually open every day of the week, continuously, but it's not very busy, it's not a very busy server at all anymore. So I was wondering if that's what you prefer, if I... The server doesn't have to close, it can stay open, but if, if you prefer, if I sort of give a time and then I record a video and we start doing multiplayer videos again, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be every week, it probably won't be, because I'm already very busy, but it's just nice to have once in a while, maybe once or twice a month, uh, have a um, multiplayer video with fans. So finding the best place for this is a little bit tricky. I would say just there somewhere. But please let there be some kind of auto load, auto loading trailer. Right, so this is going to be too much of a job. Four crates I can cope with, but eventually there's going to be a crate every hour. I'm going to have so many sheep. I'm only going to sell the wool when there is either a great demand or when we're actually really desperate for money. Uh, I don't think we're going to be desperate for money on this map because I do seem to have quite a bit already. Plus we have some fairly big machines. So it's most likely just going to be sold when the trailers fall and when we have a great demand. The great demand will come first because you can double stack, you even triple stack these crates. Right, so that is the final crate just there. So it is now time to move on to the next job. No. That's better. Okay, so I might as well keep this here for now. There is another crate which is almost ready, but there's no point in moving it until it's full. It's just going to take up unnecessary space on the trailer. Uh, right. I could strap those. So I did have uh, fin number two, which hasn't been cut yet, but I've done a lot of mowing recently. So if I'm going to do something there, I'm going to probably do it in a different way. For example, uh, if, if I do like a, um, a whole crop sort of approach where we cut it with a forager, throw it into a trailer and create chaff for a silage pit, that could be something a little bit different. Um, mm, let's just take a look at this. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll leave field number two for now because I know that the straw harvest um, add-on is going to be coming out at some point in the new year, not too sure when. Uh, so I need to have some grass available for that and I'm going to set up that add-on in the placeable yard, that is my plan, and yes, I, I don't want to have no grass at that stage, I have no idea when it's going to be, but it just says early 2020, I think, so we'll have to wait and see. But yes, what I do need to do, as you can see, fertilizer, is fertilize some fields. Field number three, field number seven, every field, every single field needs to be fertilized. So, let's look into the fertilizing technology. Now, I did want to use this again, I, I used this on oak field once, I think, and I really liked it, uh, but I've never really had the opportunity to use it again. It's again one of those machines which is way too big for the map, but I just <laughs> can't resist. So if I can just set things up as I feel necessary, well, yeah, we'll go for the row crops, which is standard, and firestones. Oh, nice. Something a bit different there. It's expensive, but this is going to add a lot of money to the fields. Does the other half of that come under spraying on here? I'm guessing it does do. Crop protection? Yes. Okay, so that piece isn't too expensive. I downloaded this model a long time ago. It's probably been updated since this. Oh, and you can't really see me too well, but I do still have the Santa hat on. Yes, it's not. Christmas isn't over yet. <laughs> We've still got plenty of time. Uh, so, um... Just try and creep past there. The yard is a little bit tight. But again, it's designed for machines which are more suitable for the map. It's not really a machine for this map. I'm just trying to think if this map has any kind of fill point for chemicals. I don't think it does. So if I if I buy an IBC here, buy a couple of IBCs of fertilizer. Two should do it. That's £6,400. And then I can fill it up. And then we'll, f we'll head over to the big field first. And then we'll probably do 38 and then I'll just do 17 at some point. 17 is nothing. It's just nothing of a field. But I do like it. Actually, I suppose 
two could be done. Two needs to be, everything does. I don't know what the consumption is going to be like. Do I have the variable? I do, I've got the variable spray rate. So I'll try and make this last the whole whole episode, if I can do. Beacons! Oh yes, very nice beacons. Very nice indeed. So field number three and number two are up in this direction. I would prefer to put something like slurry onto the grassland, but I don't have any animals which create slurry, so I can't really do that. Having said that, I think there's actually a slurry buy point which you can add as a placeable. It's probably not a bad idea. Because then it's just like buying it from a neighbouring farm. Yeah, so this is going to be nothing of a job with such massive machinery. Hopefully it can be applied at this stage, because I know this has just been drilled. Look at that. <laughs> Absolute beast. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it can be. Good. To get those beacons switched off. Uh, it seems that you can go very fast with this, which is interesting. Hmm, it's a little bit too fast. If I can just maybe slow down a bit. Looks good though. I do like this machine. There was a um, Massey Ferguson 1200. That's the articulated Massey Ferguson from the 70s, I think it was. Uh, there used to be a mod for that on farming simulator. I think it was for 13. And I wish that had been continued over to the latest versions. It wasn't on 17 either, at least not officially. Uh, I think it was by, who was it by? D DZN, I think it was, DZN, something like that. Um, yeah, it was really good. I don't think that modding group exists anymore. They might have split, I'm not too sure. But no, that was a quality tractor. Basically what I'm saying there is I wish there was still that tractor in the game. Okay, spin round, do the final piece. We might have to do two more. Yep. It only just doesn't cover it, but you can see we have done this field in just a matter of minutes. Okay, I like this field because it's got such a good view. Beautiful view. Yes, I think I'm going to try and get either a placeable manure point or a placeable slurry point and do that field with that. I prefer not to put the liquid fertilizer on there. So let's go down to the soybean field, I think it is. And also it's field 17, which is probably soybeans as well. Is it soybeans? What did I put it? Yeah, I'm sure I put soybeans in. Yes, I did. So uh, both those fields are the same crop. I think the best way of tackling this is by doing a very quick time lapse. So if I just put this onto a, a time lapse now, we can get both of those fields done. And we can move on to another job. Absolutely brilliant. I really do love this mod. So uh, yeah, if anyone had some bigger fields, I'm going to have to use it on a bigger map. I think it might be quite good for the multiplayer map. We change to 100. But anyway, yes. Uh, let's just go and put it over here. Like I say, I'm going to develop the uh, 
replaceable yard, so eventually there's going to be space to put stuff up there. Because this this yard can support machines like this, but it's just a little bit too big. So for now, it can just live down here. That shed's already got quite a few things in it. Yeah, so I do own this farm, and obviously we do have the slurry pit just here. I think it's the pig farm. Is it for pigs? Yes. So we could get some pigs, and then I would, of course, have the, uh, the slurry to spread on the grassland. I think it could be quite good. I think the way I'd do pigs, if I was to do them, would be just to do it by buying in bulk the pig food itself, or pre-mix, instead of getting every single ingredient, because... Yeah, I can't show you, but in 17 it used to show you, but um, unless we own a pig, you, you can't really see the requirements. In fact, let's just, let's just buy a pig. I think now that I've done that, now that I've said that, I'm going to probably do it anyway. It is Scatterbrook, there we go. So we'll just get one at random. And then go on to here, you can see. Yeah, they require corn, wheat or barley, soybeans, canola or sunflowers, potatoes and sugar beet. That's quite a lot of stuff, plus the straw and the water. So if I just gave them generic pig food, I know there is a silo that you can add as a placeable. You can just get everything here in one go. Uh, so that could be quite good. Obviously, we could give them some soybeans. Whatever crop we've got growing at the time, we could give them. So that's all nice. As I have a pig now, I'm obviously going to have to give it some food. So let's just um, get one bag if we can do. Can you get it? Yeah, you can. One bag of pig food. Rip off price, but anyway, not to worry. I've got the JCB over here. Yes, those bells that you just saw on the Ferguson track, so they'll be coming up here as well. As soon as those hay bells over there have been consumed, uh, I'll be putting them up here because the sheep need to eat them. And I suppose the sheep's productivity is very good. I can't see any reason why it would be bad. 99%. Not too sure why they lost the 1%, but anyway, it doesn't get much better than that. I'm hoping I can sort out the trough with the mains water again, so if I can, uh, that sorts the water issue. And obviously straw I can give them when I do some more harvesting of cereal crops. Now, how do we actually get into the area? Is it through here? It must be through here. There's my Ferguson. Tandem. Sticking out quite a bit. Here we go. So yes, I can see that the plumbing is all there, ready to fit. I'll do that first. Oh, there's my one pig. Hello, my little pig. Hello. Oh, isn't it cute? Little snout snuffling and all that sort of stuff. Right, okay. So here it is. Uh, let's just get it set up. I just move that one to begin with, that can go about there, and this one can go about there. Oops. Accept it. And then we can fill it up. Yes, just the one animal doesn't take too much water. But that is the water solved. So the food is here. So again, this is the generic sort of pre-mixed food and it should be enough for just one pig but if I was to get quite a few which I would do would have to have loads so getting in a trailer from a silo would be the best approach so how's that looking hmm yeah they take so much that's another reason why I've always been put off doing the pigs because they seem to take an unnecessary amount of food I guess they just eat quite a lot Anyway, we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.